All right, what's happening, everybody? Winston here over at Move Up. So we're gonna talk about today the three sentences you should always say to movers when they come in for interviews. Okay, so three three sentences or three phrases you should always say, make them a process, script them out, teach them to your management staff, and always, always, always say these in your interviews. So number one, when you sit down with someone, the, the number one goal of a job interview is to get the truth. It's not to hire someone. The goal is not, uh, even though that, that, yes, you are trying to hire someone, but the goal of the interview is to get the truth. Because if I get the truth, then I can make an educated decision. So when, when you sit down with someone, one of the first things you want to say is kind of something like this. Hey, Josh, you know, right off the bat, I want you to, to know that today's just a conversation. I'm not gonna drill you with a thousand questions. I'm not gonna beat you upside the head. I'm not gonna put make you jump through a thousand hoops. Today's just a conversation. I just want to get to know you. Does that sound fair? And and what you you your goal there is you want to relax this person. Some people they're awesome at interviewing. Some people are not, and they're very stressed. If the person's tense and uncomfortable, they're probably gonna give short answers. They're not gonna give you a lot of information. That doesn't really help me as an interviewer or a business owner, right? So that's question one. Question two is going to be kind of setting the stage a little bit. And so you'll say something to the extent of, well, Josh, just so you know, I'm going to be 100% open and honest about everything we have to offer at our company, everything about this job and the opportunity here. All I ask in return is that you be 100% open and honest with everything you bring to the table. Can you do that for me? And the reason we're gonna ask that, we're gonna frame that up, is because people do lie in interviews. And it is it is statistically proven that if you can get someone to verbally say that they are going to be honest, it is nearly impossible. Um, I think they found that only people that actually have like, uh, what's the word here, like psychopath issues, can, can say they'll be honest, but then lie to you. So, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm making a verbal truth. I'm making a verbal truth with this candidate. I'm saying, hey, I'm going to be 100% honest. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to puff this up to be something it's not. But in return, I need you to shoot me straight, okay? I need you to, I need you to talk to me honestly. And you're making a verbal agreement here. And this is before you, you start anything, right? I've sat down. Hey, today's just a conversation. I'm relaxed them. Now I'm setting the stage I'm, I'm getting the honesty part locked in. I'm getting a verbal confirmation from them. So that was the second one. Number three, number three question here, num number, number three uh, sentence is really the most basic one is I'm going to have a transition and I'm going to say, so Josh, why are you looking for a new job, man? What's, what's happening? And I think so many times, like we want to act like, what's the perfect interview questions? What do you ask? Oh, we ask this or we don't ask this. And the truth is that probably about 70, about 70% 70 of everything you need to know about that candidate, you can learn from that question. Why are you looking for a new job? Why are you looking for a new opportunity? It does help if you use some good skills when, when you say it, right? Have some charisma, smile, have a good pace, have a good pitch and tone in your voice, right? Uh, you wanna be inviting, you want them to share what's actually happening. And it tells you a lot. And what I like to do is I just like that, let that candidate just kind of get it all out. Tell me what's up, you know? Now you gotta have a little bit of a, a, a restraint because some people will talk for 20 minutes if you let them. So you gotta have awareness, but I like to let them talk for a couple minutes. Just let them get it out. And those are the three things. Every single interview, I always say those three sentences. Hey, today's just a conversation. I'm not gonna drill you with a thousand questions, that kind of thing. Two is, hey, I'm gonna be 100% open and honest about everything we have at this company, the job opportunity. All I ask from you is that you can do the same and be open and honest about what you bring to the table. Can you do that? Three, why are you looking for a new job? What's going on in life? And I think that if you start all your interviews like that, you will get a lot of uniformity in the selection process. You'll learn a lot better about who is being honest and who has good character and who maybe doesn't have the character that you're looking for in your business. Ultimately, the two most important things you should make hiring decisions on. Number one, is this person have a good cultural fit? 
with your organization? And number two, does this person have good attitudinal fit with the avatar, right? The avatar candidate that you're looking for. If they can check the cultural fit part and the attitude part, a lot of the other stuff becomes a lot easier. But if you hire based on, oh, well, they worked at such and such for X amount of years and, oh, well, this guy, you know, can do this. He has moving experience. Well, you're kind of putting the cart before the horse. You need good people and you need people that match and, and, and not just match, but can fit into your organization well on a cultural standpoint. So those three sentences, hope they help. And we will see you guys next week on the next video. Peace.